guys, what's up? Dan Kabat of Airsoft here today with the first video in a new series we'll be doing here on the channel. Um, and these videos are going to be geared towards new Airsoft players. Um, stuff like uh, what to look for on your first Airsoft gun, what equipment you need to start, where to get your Airsoft equipment, whether it's from a store or online, whatever. So for this first video, we're going to be going over uh, the basic things you need to play Airsoft. So to start things off, guys, there's really only a few things you absolutely need to start to play Airsoft. Uh, these would be a mask or a pair of uh, airsoft safety goggles, a gun, something to power it, whether it's um, a battery for electric guns, gas for gas guns, um, or spring, you know, a right or a left hand. <laughs> and the last thing you'll need is a bag of BBs, because of course you need something to shoot from the gun to hit people to play. As long as you have these things, you could play airsoft safely and competitively. Playing in jeans and a hoodie with some beat up old Nikes is just fine. Uh, sure, it'll be obvious you're an inexperienced or new player. Uh, but it'll work just fine nevertheless. Having the coolest Marpat BDU or military issue Molly chest rig are really nice, but definitely not necessary. So don't worry about these things until you have the necessities taken care of. Now that we've talked about all the necessary equipment you need to start playing airsoft, we're going to get into the basics of airsoft guns. So the first thing we're going to go over is the three different types of power sources um, that airsoft guns can be powered by. First, we're going to go over the most basic power source, which is spring. Spring means you have to manually cock back the bolt or spring before every shot to prep the spring inside the gun. These tend to be the cheapest guns and also the least common because it's kind of hard to compete with someone who's firing 30 rounds per second with their AEG, while you can only get off one every few seconds because you have to manually load each shot. Uh, if you're looking for a serious and competitive gun right off the bat, you might want to stay away from these unless you're looking at a sniper or a multi-shot shotgun. The next power source we have is gas. Uh, now gas can be powered by one of four different gases uh, at the time of filming of this video. Um, but as of now we have green gas, which is uh, exclusive to airsoft guns, as far as I know. There's also propane, uh, CO2, which usually comes in small cartridges, um, or HPA, high pressure air. Now gas guns tend to be on the more expensive side, not just when you initially buy the gun, but because you're gonna have to frequently go out and either buy uh, a new batch of CO2 cartridges, a new bottle of green gas or propane, or refill your HPA tank. And also in my personal experience, gas guns tend to not be as reliable as the two alternatives. Uh, the effectiveness and consistency of gas guns fluctuates tremendously based on the temperature of wherever you're playing. So in the summer you might get one, uh, 50 to 100 shots per gas fill with your gun, and in the winter it might drop to somewhere between 15 and 30 shots. So gas guns really aren't ideal for primary weapons, especially for beginning players. Uh, and I've had countless magazines fail for gas guns I've owned in the past. And to me, most of them are just more trouble than they're worth. So in my opinion, you should stay away from gas guns until you're more experienced and knowledgeable about the sport and guns. The next and last power source we have is electric. These guns are commonly referred to as AEGs. Uh, and this stands for either automatic or Airsoft electric gun. Now electric guns can be powered by either nickel metal hydride batteries or lithium polymer batteries. However, you should avoid using lithium polymer batteries unless it specifically says in the gun's manual that the gun is LiPo ready. If your gun is not LiPo ready and you use a LiPo anyways, you will destroy the gun's internals and essentially break your gun. Now most players do use an electric powered gun, I myself do for my primary, uh, and I would definitely recommend sticking with electric guns as a beginner unless you're looking at snipers. So many of the cheaper guns uh, do come with a battery, uh, but most of the times it'll be a cheap uh, and weak battery such as a 7.2 or 8.4 volt nickel metal hydride battery. So you should upgrade that as soon as possible. Also, if your gun doesn't come with a battery, as many don't, you will need to get a battery for the gun, um, obviously because you need something to power it. But these aren't terribly expensive and are rechargeable, so really it's not that big of a deal. I would recommend starting off if you can't afford anything more, then at least get a 9.6 volt battery uh, with as much MA or MAH as you can. Uh, the higher the MA, the longer the battery charge will hold and the longer you'll be able to use it during play. Guys, it's also important to make sure when you're getting a battery for the gun that you get the right type and the right shape of battery for your gun. For example, some AKs will house the battery in the stock so you can get a bigger um, standard brick type battery. Um, because you'll have plenty of room in the stock. However, other AKs will house it in the top near the spring, so you'll need to get a stick-type battery. And it's also important to make sure 
whether you're going to use a large type or small type connector. However, it's not a big deal. You can get an adapter if you mix that up. But that's a topic for a different video. The last thing I want to touch on before moving off the topic of AEGs is chargers. Uh, since the batteries are rechargeable for airsoft guns, you will need to get a charger with it. If your gun does come with a battery, it will also come with a terrible piece of crap charger. This charger will take probably six to eight hours to charge your battery fully, um, and it won't charge it that well. Um, and who has that much time and wants to waste that much electricity doing this? So what I would recommend, either if um, you need to upgrade your charger or if you buy the battery separate from the gun and need to get a charger anyways, is buy a smart charger. A uh, 10RG smart charger is absolutely fine, uh, works great. I used one for many, many years. Uh, they last forever and will cut your charge time to about one to two hours as opposed to six to eight with the standard charger. So really the 30 bucks you're gonna spend on it is a worthwhile investment. One last thing I wanna mention before moving on is just that it's important to, to ensure that your gun that you're buying has full metal internals or full metal gearbox um, because it will greatly improve the durability and performance of the gun over one with plastic internals. The next thing we're gonna talk about for airsoft guns is the four basic classes of airsoft guns. Uh, these are CQB, Field, Support, and Sniper. So first off, we're gonna start with CQB, which stands for Close Quarters Battle. Uh, and this class is specifically meant for close encounters, like you guessed from the name. Uh, and this generally means engagements under or within 100 feet. Uh, so these guns are ideal for small indoor fields, uh, CQB arenas, backyard wars, uh, or just close encounters in general. These guns tend to be SMGs or submachine guns, such as an MP5, P90, and the like. The next class we have is Field. Um, these class will consist of carbines such as M4s, AK variants, and other medium-sized weapons. These are typically the most versatile and well-balanced guns in airsoft and are used by most airsoft players. These are perfectly suited guns for medium-sized outdoor fields or woodland play, but can also hold their own in CQB and long-range engagements. Uh, like I said before, being very versatile, which also is the reason why they're so popular. As a beginner, I would recommend getting your first gun from this class. But like I mentioned earlier, it is your money, so it's your decision as to what gun you want to buy. Um, so do whatever you please, but that is my recommendation. The third class of airsoft guns we have is support. Support gunners mainly use light machine guns or heavy machine guns to provide cover and support fire for their teammates. These type of guns are almost exclusively electric powered and are very heavy duty um, and heavy in general. The magazines usually have a much higher capacity than the SMG and carbine counterparts. And because of all this, they're usually a little bit more pricey as well. Basically, if you're looking to fire as much as possible and just like spraying down your enemies, uh, this is the class for you. Guns from this class tend to weigh somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds, or for our friends on the metric scale, I believe it's you know, eight to 10 kilograms. Yeah, something like that. So if you do decide to buy a gun from this class, make sure you get a bipod with it. This is gonna help you tremendously when you're laying down fire because you won't have to support the whole weight of the gun yourself. So it's a, definitely a necessary accessory. The last class of guns we have for airsoft is sniper. Uh, I know some of you have been waiting for this one. Uh, snipers are typically bolt action spring rifles, but can also be powered by gas or battery. Uh, I've seen both and are used to hit targets from long distance. So if you're interested in staying back out of sight, removed from close quarter fights, possibly even hidden, this is the class for you. Uh, if you're looking to get a sniper as your first gun, just make sure that you get a scope with it. A bipod can be helpful as well, but a scope is definitely the most necessary accessory for it. A uh, basic 4x32 scope, uh, Leapers is a good model to go with, and they tend to be on the cheaper side, around $25. Uh, and will work fine on any model and are available at most airsoft sites. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you found it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to be notified when we upload our next videos. And of course, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Um, the links for both will be in the description. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Dan looked up. Hey.